there are loads of people here who can empathise with what it's like to have a dad who became a banker, a lawyer, a judge, a fucking whatever, a rocket scientist. And this is what happened to a kid whose dad went off and became a terrorist. And this is how it fucked up the family. You left the family, you couldn't even left the family. I never left the family, man. I never left the family, you know the problem is that you all left me and came. That is where the whole problem is. So you never left four, three people, but three people left you. You see, you are, you are, we have been discussing you know, how you left and went. He was one of the original five members who founded the most lethal terrorist organisation called the Tamil Tigers. We could hear shells and motors exploding, there were bodies on the street and we were going to become guerrillas. Maya Arupal Grassam is her name, born in Sri Lanka. Her father part of the Tamil Tiger guerrillas there. Her mom fled with her to England. That's where Maya grew up in a refugee ghetto. Today she gets herself in all kinds of trouble because she just says what she feels. Where is freedom of speech and where is democracy? If it's in this country, then I want to see it starting with me. Everybody should mix politics and lyrics. It's called Bob Dylan, John Lennon, U2. Why is that controversial? I really feel like no one really writes lyrics like her. She's just incredible. She's an incredible fucking genius. She's provocative, basically. That's interesting. I like artists like that. When we started putting music out there, people just didn't really believe her. They thought someone had sort of made her up, I think. Whereas, of course, she'd, she'd come up with the whole thing. M I A. London calling, speak the slang now, boy say wah. Go on, girl say wah, wah. London calling, speak the slang now, boy say wah. Go on, girl say wah. To collect her award, M I A. Mum, thanks. Uh, always wanting to uh, survive and fight my way out of a hole. She was creating a buzz long before her debut CD was officially released. And that is in part because of the work of a Philadelphia producer named Diplo. Flying those paper planes into buildings, man. You know how damaging that could be. Every time we call that, we get frantic emails from people who say that MIA is a terrorist and that Kerak are bad, bad people for supporting them. Thousands of civilians have been caught up in fighting between the Sri Lankan military and the rebel Tamil Tigers who want independence. They let this happen in Rwanda, they let this happen in Serbia, and they're going to let this happen in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Even if I hear serious things like murders and rapes and genocide, it's still disposable, useless and pointless because nobody's doing anything about it. MIA is a great artist and we wish her well. But I'm uh, sorry, I, I think she is misinformed and it's best that she stay with what is she's good at, which is music, not politics. Well, politics is just fucked up, period. MIA, one of the most provocative artists in recent memory. She's a pop star, but a controversial one. I think she incites terrorism. The stuff she was saying really annoyed the hell out of me. She feels this way about things, she has to express it. In my ass, of course! In my ass, of course! I don't want to be a politician, I just want to encourage people to be themselves and question shit. If you like being shocked and awed, check out this. The thing that's amazing about her, she's constantly trying to figure out who she is. Yes, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Hey!
tell you the underlying problem is sin in the heart. That's right. And there that's you go, all Randy. you can say. It's so out of control right now. It's so out of control. <laughs> They were like, what you just did is worse than setting the flag on fire. And it's the election. The potential to come on the side. Uh, yeah. You want to hear my story? I'm going to fucking show you my story. I will show you my fucking story.